Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and um, I blame Mary from the Mary Altier for this. Okay, this is all of it. For this, it is so her fault. <laughs> um, so this is a YouTube, <laughs> YouTube. This is a Hobby Lobby clearance haul. Yep, I did it. Where should we start? Sorry if you hear the bags rattling around. But I'm going to show you what I got. Oh, starting with this. <laughs> so whenever whenever I'm in Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I look at their white stuff or their mediums and look for red tags. See, so like this was $24.99. I got it for $6. Okay, this was one of my more pricey purchases, but still, $6. Well, six twenty four for this just is gonna last me forever. <laughs> and I have a smaller bottle, so I can just pour it in when that one runs out. All right. Okay. Okay. So. Mary from the Mary Altier did a live stream and I was watching her and she went to the artist pad area and found all these watercolor tablets or books on clearance. Mine didn't have that but they did like those were all gone but they did have a bunch of stuff like this one is a Grumbacher acrylic and it's only got 15 pages but it's three dollars and 49 cents and it's like super stiff paper so I'm excited for that one Let's see the next one is Canson now this one is this illustration it's 374 um, but it's still stiff so it'll work great for mixed media or whatever and then this next one is Fabriano I don't know it said white white so I'm like I want to try it. It says drawing paper, 374 again, but it is also stiff. So I figure it would work for anything. They also had, you know, sketchbook, drawing, you know, the thinner stuff, but I like to paint and collage and do all that kind of stuff. So now these, now I've been thinking about creating a lap book and thinking about having to go buy those plain white manila folders to create the lap book from, but I found these $1.49 for 12 and I don't think I'll even use 12 in a thing. I bought two of them. They had other colors, but this one, okay, I want to open it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. You'll be able to see all the different patterns. There's three different patterns. Just kind of fun patterns, but in, inside, it's book text. I don't know if you can tell. Like, isn't that cool? I might turn them around and make that the outside. And I might scrap book paper over that, depending on what I want um, the style of the lap book to be. But I loved the, that um, book text inside. I'm excited. Okay, so there's those two things. Move. Sorry, too many things on my teeny table. So they had these Stadler erasers, six dollars or six dollars, sixty-two cents. They're normally two forty-nine, and I like the white erasers because if you're like erasing off of watercolor paper, they're they're not as damaging. <clears throat> And I don't know. They had tabs. I 40 of them for a dollar 24. I'm like I'm doing like a journal exchange. I'm like I could stick some tabs on there. <clears throat> oh, and water brushes. Water brushes can be very pricey. 
These ones, the original price isn't that bad. It's $5 each. Um, these are Bria Reese, and I got them for $1.24. <clears throat> and this was a dot paper sketchbook. Like it was sealed, so I couldn't look. This is also $1.24. Um, but I'm thinking it's the, the notebooks that have just the dot grid. So you can... Oh, this is nice. Like It feels like kind of like vinyl. And that's regularly $4.99. Oh man. You won't be able to see those dots. Because I can barely see those dots. But I thought it would be a nice sketchbook. And it's just thin, thinner paper. So. Ooh, and a pretty color. <laughs> they had a couple of different colors of that. And Mary did not get the neon colored pencils, but I wanted to. If nothing else, my nephew will get to use them. Again, $1.24. And then I only bought one of these artisan acrylic markers because I have a lot. And it looked like it was like a turquoisey blue color, so... That's what I went for. <clears throat> so again, I was looking in the white stuff and I found coarse texture gel and modeling paste and they were both $2.24. And my, um, my Hobby Lobby, I don't know about you guys if you're near a Hobby Lobby, but my Hobby Lobby is always picked over. Like, always picked over. In fact, on Mary's video, I saw all these fun colors in the Liquitex heavy body. But I go to mine, and there's like yellow, green, and brownish red. But I did find one white. It's actually transparent mixing white, so I don't know. It's not, you know, the opaque titanium white. But I grabbed it anyway, and then I got... Quinacridone Red Orange and Manganese Blue Hue. So, excited about this one. I'm like, um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but I do not need any more yellow or brown colors. Okay. Alright, the end of this bag. Speedball. Now, these are block printing ink, but can I use them for anything? Like, why does it have to be block printing? They are, I don't know if you can tell the colors, they are neon pink and neon yellow. <laughs> they just look like they are going to be some fun. So, there's that. Okay. Then, of course, I went to the regular clearance section and found this is outdoor paint. <laughs> For 21 cents and it's called honeydew I'm like I can use outdoor paint it doesn't matter right I'm using speedball block printing ink. I also got a brayer not that I needed another brayer they had my regular brayer on clearance the one I have for jelly printing but this was a dollar dollar seventy four it's, it's soft, but not as soft as foam. It says it's a foam, but it's like, I don't know. It feels good. It's squishy. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have one more bag. One more bag. And these ones, uh, there's only a few things. Let's see. Besides the gesso, these are my more expensive purchases. But look! They have gel printing plates on clearance. So this one's regularly $19.99. It was $4.99. I don't know where they came up with their pricing. But this one was $4.99. But I thought it was worth it because they're expensive. And I don't have one that size. I've wanted a small one that's bigger than I wanted, but I'm excited. 
And this one, I have one this size, so I'll just store this one away. Um, but it was regularly $22.99 for $4.74. So, yeah, that is a really good price for jelly plates. And then my last purchase, which was the most expensive, um, and I debated. <laughs> These are water-based flexible brush markers. They were on clearance for $9.99. So this was a $10 purchase. That's a lot of markers, right? I hope they're good. <laughs> I don't even know what brand. Hobby Lobby brand, I guess. It says Hobby Lobby on it. But yeah, in this awesome carrying case. And I just recently saw Lindsay, the frugal crafter, do something with brush markers. So I might have to rewatch that to get me some ideas of what to do with these fun markers. Anyways, that is everything. Yeah, don't look at the price because I did spend a bit. Mary, it's all your fault. I'll link to her channel in case you haven't um, seen her videos or follow her. She does lives uh, mostly. She does some not live, but... She's there every day doing her art. Anyways, thanks all for watching. Get out to Hobby Lobby if you need to buy something cheap. Just go down the regular aisles and look for that orange-red tag. See you later.